Now, the natural response to seeing this video is immediately, where is my candle intro? Well, it's like 1123 p.m. and it's Sunday and my candle is behind me and that's just too far away. And I'm, I'm a little bit of a hot mess right now, so... Bitch. So a lot of things are actually going on today and right now in the shot you're seeing right here There's like nine different things currently happening like one you're seeing the original Titanfall. What's with that? You're seeing me What's with that and you know dressed like this? What's with that? Well first things first happy cut of brick Monday. It's uh, episode two of cut of brick I was actually supposed to have a couple of videos out last week, but I wasn't able to get that in time for a couple of reasons a, a, a couple of reasons first things first last week I was actually supposed to have my first episode of the apex legends legendary guide It's a guide series kind of like dead by daylight case files or overwatch one trick or anything of a twin And I was supposed to have that out But the artist I had for the thumbnails backed out at like the last second and that obviously that, that pissed me off But mainly it's more just about the fact that I hired new artists and I I did and actually it was way better this way so that's great but that's not gonna come out until around Wednesday or Thursday probably of this week we get excited the first ones on lifeline and I have this hilarious looking like the Elmo with the fire picture but of the lifeline instead and I just find it really really funny but point being that's coming out this week so get hyped for that one I also owe somebody 20 bucks but they shall remain nameless secondly uh, I don't remember if any of you know this I'm sure some of you OG people do I used to work at Dairy Queen and back when I went to Dairy Queen, there's a guy named Jacob. He was my old my old manager. I, I actually, I think he was assistant manager at the time. I don't remember. Uh, but point being, he was sort of kind of the boss, but also a really awesome guy. And I just came back from his wedding. So I got my beautiful pink pink tie. Of course I do. Why would I not look at me? Um, my little vest. And, oh, I, I even got... I don't know if I can put my leg up this high. Whew. Pink socks. I know, I know. Listen, not all of us can be this beautiful. But I always came back from his wedding, and it is 11.26 p.m. Sunday night. And this is coming out Monday morning, so we're like, we're really cutting it close here. But that's just what you gotta do. Finally, why Titanfall? Well, I'm sure you found from the title of this video, Titanfall's five-year anniversary is, I think, today. I'm pretty sure it is today. Well, okay, technically I'm filming this on Sunday, but, you know, Monday. I believe it is today. I, I really think it is. And, I mean, I... Could be wrong. I don't think I'm wrong though, but I do believe Titanfall 1's anniversary is finally here. And that feels crazy to me. Because obviously this game did come out, you know, five years ago, but it feels like this came out so recently. I remember everything about Titanfall when Titanfall was actually kind of around. It, it, mainly because I remember when it came out, everyone was just kind of like, what? This, what is this game? Mechs? and shooting and, and AI bots at the same time. It was such a weird idea for so many people. Nobody understood like what what the hell is this all about, you know? What Titanfall by the guys who made who made Call of Duty, Call of Duty 4, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. It was such a weird crazy thing to everybody and it, but it got kind of cool at the same time, you know? It was a very neat a eight ball. It was a very neat new idea for the game, and now that it's here, and Titanfall 2 being such a big game and such a game that I love so much now as well. Really, I feel like I had to do a little bit of service by playing the original again, because I've actually been playing the original a decent amount lately, and I'm kind of liking it a lot again. And some parts of it I actually like even more than the second game, and the second game is like a masterpiece. You know, Jeeves was always a nice guy. I like Jeeves, or at least it's interesting. I mean, I imagine that any of the major hardcore Titanfall 1 players that were weaves were always using Ryoko, because... You know, like that. I will admit, I actually always liked Natalia, because I thought the Russian accent was... ...was really cool in the, in the, in the cockpit. Just sounds really cool. It just sounds great for a Titan, you know? Or you use Sid, and everyone used Sid. Caution. You are outnumbered two to one. 
It's basically Scorch Prime, you know, but it's it's beautiful at the same time. I remember the Smart Pistol came out. God, the Smart Pistol. You want to make people upset with you, you would run the Smart Pistol. The Smart Pistol was was the anger weapon, the super anger weapon. Titanfall coming out was such a such a big deal. And right now, as you can tell, this game, this is on Xbox One, is not super big at the current moment. And it's showing its age, and the servers are not holding up. They are slow, and they are clunky, and they are very problematic. Right now, playing Titanfall 1 is nostalgic, but would I recommend buying the game and getting into it? Probably not. I don't know how the PC community is. Funny enough, though, God, it feels so weird just playing the game right now. Especially the FOV, because I'm pretty sure I run my FOV in uh, Titanfall 2 at around 110. I run at a pretty high field of view because I've, I've heard that high fields of view is kind of the thing you want. But I, yeah, I remember everyone telling me if you want to be really, really good at PC shooter games, you want to have a pretty high FOV. And I was always used to playing at 65, 70 FOV. And st I mean, at the end of the day, you know, play with whatever FOV makes you feel comfortable with. See, see what I mean right there about the kind of, uh, kind of slow reaction time. Kind of like a weird desync lag, almost. That's kind of what I mean. Also, I could never tell if Big Punch was a good- I think I just stepped on somebody. <laughs> that was funny. But I could never tell if Big Punch was ever actually a good option to use. I always liked using Big Punch because I thought it was really funny, but I never really remembered if Big Punch was a good option in the game. Oh my god, Crouch is B. I forgot that B is Crouch. Wow, that was a little bit weird right there, that lag. One of the things that I do prefer in this game is that I really do like the high time to kill. Now, if I'm being perfectly honest, I don't really know the technicalities for health bars and stuff in this game. I really just, I don't know what the difference is in HP or weapon damage or weapon speed or speed of damage, that is. But I always do like the fact that it takes just a bit longer to kill people in this game. Or at least it sure as hell feels like it. And maybe it's just because I grew up with a game like Halo and such where a long time to kill was just the thing. It makes me feel, I don't know, it makes me feel like I'm having more battles and, and less just weird skirmishes, you know? Oh my god, I was holding, I was holding shoot right there and it took that long to fire my weapon. My goodness gracious. Yeah, I don't know. I kind of just enjoy the much longer time to kill with this kind of thing. Because it makes it feel like it's a much longer fight, you know? A much longer battle. It feels like I'm actually really fighting with other big pilots instead of just being like, bap, 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 bap. There's more and more things I learn about when I play this game, though, that really surprised me. Like, I can't find a slide button. And I don't know if I just don't have it correctly mapped or something, but... Sli no sliding in Titanfall feels like such a weird thing to me. And I'm I'm Gen 5 in this game. I played Titanfall a lot. It may not be Gen 100, Titanfall 2, Kraber Montage, 4, 20, 360, No Scope, 5,000. But I still play this game a decent amount. And it's so weird thinking that there's just no slide button. Because sliding is, is the thing, right? In Titanfall 2, sliding is your thing. It also kind of makes me think more about why I enjoy a little, some parts of this game a little bit more than I remembered or at least expected was because burn cards were a little bit silly if I recall correctly. These things were super overpowered and kind of dumb. But is Titanfall 2 had such a insanely fast movement that I almost kind of like as someone who isn't good enough at Titanfall to move at the speed that everyone quite you that everyone else is moving at, I almost like the fact that I'm more on the ground in this game because I can keep track of players a little bit more, I guess, or or maybe I enjoy the fact that, you know, if I turn the corner, I don't see some random stim pilot moving at Mach 15, hip firing me with a Kraber, two shotting my head, and then bailing. You know, maybe maybe I like just a little bit more controlled chaos than pure chaos. I may, maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I, that's not the case. At all. Okay, I'm gonna use the smart pistols because I'm a horrible human being. But let me just just let me do it. All right, just just for the just for the lulls. I'm at least enjoying a little bit more of the controlled chaos in that in that nature. And I don't know, maybe I'm in the minority there, but I did kind of like just the slightly slower gameplay at times. Like I'm using stim right now, and th this is stim. This is the stim speed. Here I go. I'm sprinting. You know, that's just that's just so strange to me. Okay, I will admit 
even if the even if this weapon is a bunch of horse shit, which it is, like this a gun like the smart pistol should just not exist. Oh my god, you see that lag right there? Oof. A gun like the smart pistol should just not exist at all in, in a game like this, but I will admit it is really satisfying and fun to use. Uh, of course, in this game, you could customize your Titan as well, but I totally get why they stopped doing that. It made total sense. You know, obviously, like, yeah, customizing your Titan is super cool and a lot of fun and everything, but for balance-wise, totally get why they changed Titans to class. Also, it makes the Titan have a little bit more personality, I will admit. You know, having each Titan with some kind of... More of a, like, they have more of personal. They really just have more personality. And I am dying. I am dying so hard. Oh my god. Nice try, kiddo. But anyway, it was nice having classes, you know? It was very enjoyable having different kinds of classes because it gave each Titan some kind of personality. And the Titans needed that personality. It was fun to have the Ronin Titan have his particular quotes. And it was fun to have the Legion Titan have his particular quotes and Daddy Scorch and all that fun stuff. It gave the Titans more personality because they had different OSs and such as well. Nice try, bitch boy. Oh, crap. Okay, he's still a bitch boy. Well, I am using the Smart Pistol. Alright, maybe I'm the bitch boy here. Oh my god, the B3 Wingman. God, it's funny seeing this weapon now that I've actually played a lot of Apex now. You are the bane of all of our existences, wingman. And my aim is just as bad now as it was before. Luckily, in this game, the wingman is a two-shot kill. Well, actually, I think... I think with Skull Splitter and a low-level helmet, it's a two-shot kill in Apex as well. Doesn't matter. Point being, it's awesome still. But there's something else that I'm thinking about that I really actually enjoy in this game, and that's the maps. Now... I remember Titanfall 2 has some decent maps, but this game just seems like it has really good... Really good maps. Like, really good maps. There are very few maps I legitimately despise in this game. I like a lot of the maps in this game. Haven is definitely one of the bigger ones that I just thoroughly enjoy. If there's one thing I can absolutely say without a doubt is that the maps in this game are, are much better than Titanfall 2. I don't know if there's a particular reason for that. Maybe they're, they're a little bit over the top in this game, but damn, do I like the maps in this game. Damn, do I like the maps. Of course, I say all these things, all these things that I like uh, in Titanfall 1 over Titanfall 2, but in reality, do I think Titanfall 1's a better game? Absolutely not. The campaign is just that weird multiplayer campaign thing that really wasn't that good in my opinion. And then you also had some really odd choices in terms of balance with the, the burn cards. And some of the titans even were really, really OP. Like, if I think the arc cannon was the big, like, what are you doing? I mean, the movement in Titanfall 2 is better. I love that they let you pick your factions so you can hear whoever you want in the game. That's awesome as well. There's a lot of things like that that I just think Titanfall 2 does way, way better. The campaign in general is also fantastic. Customization is significantly better. I can actually change the way my pilot looks now. I do wish I could have kept the OS thing, but that does, that does kind of uh, not correlate with the idea of Titans having their own different kinds of look. Look at the end of the day, even though there's a lot of stuff that I really do like in this game, Titanfall 2 is a huge, huge improvement in almost every way. Not every way, maybe there's just some times that I have some personal preferences, and I think it's mainly personal preferences. Well, granted, all forms of opinions are personal preferences, but some of the things in this game I do enjoy just a lot more in general, because I just think X or Y thing is really, really fun. But overall, yeah, Titanfall 2 is a significantly better game, by, by far. But nostalgia is hitting me pretty, pretty hard. And I'm liking a lot of the stuff that I'm seeing here. It's giving me a lot of good times. The game is on its way out. The servers are kind of breaking, and the, it's not doing so hot in its own right. But I will, I will appreciate the times I have with this game. And... Uh, if Titanfall 2 is the kind of improvement that I'm going to get, and Titanfall 3 improves on Titanfall 2, I'm going to be okay with that. I'm going to be very okay with that. So anyway, thank you for watching this Cut of Brick episode. It's a little bit longer than normal, but I was just really interested in rambling about Titanfall because this, it's just a good time. It is a, it is a damn good time. 
If you're interested in supporting me any further besides just the usual liking and subscribing and such, you can go ahead and leave a uh, or you can leave a comment. Well, you can leave a comment if you like, but I was going to say check out the merch site over at brickymerch.com. Uh, I've been I've done the spiel before, but just I don't know. Go check it out. There's some cool stuff. Besides that, thank you for watching, and I will see you next Monday with more Cut of Brick and the videos to come this week. Bye-bye.